Welcome back to the Virtual Firearms Association. I'm Frank. Today, again, we're in the virtual range and we're discussing dry fire and something I am severely passionate about. Let's discuss. Before we get started, listen, those gifts are still down in the description. They're completely free. As I said, a gift from us to you, the downloadable printable targets, use them, take them to the range, save yourself some time, some money, and just be able to get there and get the training done that you need. Additionally, if you want to get some training done right now from the comfort of your own home, and you can even use your own firearm to do it, make sure it's clear and safe, of course, is the free online basic pistol course, which is going to have a significant marksmanship component and cover everything that you need to, to make you a more proficient shooter. Now, dry fire training. I am passionate about this. I love it. I will preach it forever. There's, there's no better way to train when it comes to being effective, cost efficient, and time management wise, which are all the issues that we run into when we pull individual firearm owners in why they don't train as much as they do is because they just don't, um, they don't meet one of the, or one of those issues, I should say, not that they don't meet one of those issues is, is in the way, right? There it's too costly to go to the range and get a range for a day and shoot that much ammo. They just don't have the time work. Everyone's pulling two jobs these days or whatever, or you got your family. And then additionally, they just don't feel like that the training that they are able to get is effective or it, or it reaches out to them. But dry fire training, you can do that all yourself, right? You can do that all yourself with guides throughout it. That is why we developed the Virtual Firearms Association is to give that. That's why our membership gives you all that training virtually using technology, leveraging technology to make yourself more confident, more secure, better trained. And just overall have that feeling of, of bliss and relaxation that you know, hey, at the tip of my fingers, anytime I want, whenever I'm feeling motivated, now I can go train and I don't have to jump through all these hoops to do it. All I got to do is get what I already have in my own home, make sure I'm safe, ready to go, and I can get out there and get effective training anytime, anywhere. Preaching it forever. You can do this without the Virtual Firearms Association membership. Just by dry fire training. I don't care. Jump on YouTube. Watch one of our other videos. Go watch some of Chris's shorts or his stuff on Instagram and Facebook. It is such effective training that every, every single instructor across the world supports it. Every single instructor. I have not met an instructor that says, hey, yeah, you should never dry fire train. No, no. They say that's exactly what you should be doing all the time. So what is dry fire training? Dry fire training is just getting your firearm out and getting out there and running through the motions. That could be doing holster draws, right? It's an unloaded firearm. There's no ammunition anywhere around. Make sure it's clear and safe because where you're doing it is usually not at a range, right? So make sure it's clear and safe. Put ammunition in a completely separate location, right? Outside the room. You always want to make sure it's your firearm's clear and safe. And then you're going to do whatever you want. You can do movement drills, offline movement holster draws, trigger presses, prone, kneeling, anything you want because there's no limitation because you're doing it yourself in your own home, which is why we incorporated virtual training into it so you can actually get feedback and additional training. Anyway, that's not the point of this. The point of this is, is what is dry fire training and how does it benefit you? So you can do this. Now, why is dry fire training so important? Okay, the number one reason individuals are not accurate is because they cannot control their trigger press right let's put it this way for every you know for every 100 trigger presses you sh you shoot you're going to see a significant improvement in your accuracy as long as you're doing it well every single time so with that you're not worried with a dry fire you're actually not worried about recoil management because you're not going to have it unless you set up a virtual system and you actually integrate a recoil system into your laser training or your virtual training but just with dry fire training nothing else added onto it it's you your firearm in a secure safe location with no ammunition you're punching out and you're giving one smooth trigger press and i know you all hear this all the time 
here's what I will sit down and I will say this right next to a, a shooter when they're working on their marksmanship, specific, you know, marksmanship is accuracy. That's all it ever is. I've done plenty of caveats on this. So when you're working on your marksmanship or you're trying to be accurate, it does, I don't want you to do anything else except for take that trigger to the wall. That wall is where you start feeling resistance, right? As soon as you're there, don't worry about your natural arc of movement or anything like that, your natural sway. I want you to get a good sight picture, right? With good sight alignment, your, your sights are properly aligned, superimposed on the target. And I want you to add an ounce of pressure. Just add another ounce and another ounce and another ounce. And another ounce. And I want you to keep doing this. I don't care how slow it goes until it goes click. Now, the nice part with a with the virtual system, right? With virtual firearm association, is you get feedback. You know where you hit, right? You could set this up. You could put a laser bore sight in your firearm and do it this way and just put a put a target up on the wall. Put one of our downloadable and printable targets up on the wall, right? You can build this in your own home if you wanted to for a couple dollars, right? You just got to buy a laser bore sight and already have your firearm. So you turn on your laser bore sight, you put it on there and then put your phone up to record, right? Normally you won't need this because you should see where that, that laser is when you, when that trigger depresses, but put your phone up just so you can record it, right? Put your phone up, depress that trigger nice and slow, aiming center of, of that target, Look for where it is once your trigger drops and look where your laser was. Were you accurate? Were you dipping? What was going on? Was it your natural arc of movement? Or were you not effectively move? How do I want to put this? You you move the gun when you press the trigger. I don't care if you have too much finger on the trigger. I don't care. Yes, all that stuff can be really good, impactful. But I, as I've demonstrated before, you could put too much finger or not enough finger on the trigger and still move the or still pull the trigger without moving the gun. And that's what you're trying to accomplish for accuracy. Dry fire training hits that home because you can do repetition after repetition after repetition, and you can get it done in 15 minutes, right? If you wanted to, you could get this done. You could do 30, 40, 50 trigger presses, really good trigger presses in 50 min or 15 minutes, and then you're done. It's like going to the gym, getting going to the gym for a month for 15 minutes at a time and getting the exact results you want. That's what dry fire training can do to you. Then you take those results and you put them to the test, right? That's what live fire training is, is that, is that test, right? And then you're taking that test because in life, life might throw something at you where you need to do that. And that's where personal protection and self-defense comes into. And that's the stepping stones that get there. The nice part about this with, and the reason why we started the virtual firearm association is we want to bridge the gap between dry fire training and live fire training but we want to take out all those inconveniences such as cost, um, effective training, right? You, you just don't have a, a, a group that, that supports you or you don't have a, a training re regime to follow. And I mentioned costs already and then time, right? You just don't have the time to do that. Well, you, if you're at home now, those excuses are gone. So the only excuse you would have is I'm lazy and I don't want to do it. That one's on you right? We can motivate you though. That's what the community's for. Anyway, big thing, when you're dry fire training, when you're pressing that that down, what's going on? Where are you at? If you built the, the laser system yourself, or if you're just, or if you're just recording yourself, record yourself, even if you don't have the laser system. I know you have a camera because it's on your phone. They're probably watching this on your phone. Set up your phone, put your phone on a shelf to watch you as you press that trigger. Go back Watch it in slow motion. Did you, or just watch it? Did you dip the firearm? Did you jerk? Did you lean back? What were you doing? Were you doing something that was going to throw off or that moved the gun so it would throw off your accuracy? And then, like I said, if you're really wanting to take it to the next level, that's where you throw in the laser or you're the virtual training. And then, then the whole world opens up to you at that point. But anyway, that's why it's, I'm so adamant about dry fire training. I, I'm so adamant. I do it all the time, literally at least three to four times a week. And I feel like I don't do it enough, right? Not because I'm, I'm just obsessed with getting better, which I always want to get better. The minute that I say I'm done is the minute that I, I stop, you know, utilizing firearms and I sell them all. The minute that I say I'm done learning is the minute that I get rid of all of them. But then in the meantime, it's not that it's just, it's so easily conveniently accessible. And the only reason I won't do it more is because I, I'm 
lazy, right? I'm, I just don't want to do it. It's, I know we, when, then laziness is defined as, you know, you should do something, but then you just don't do it because, you know, I'm going to scroll on my phone. It's the same amount of effort to get your firearm out, make sure it's clear and safe, and you're still using your phone. You're just recording yourself. It's so much easier, so much easier. Dry fire training and with technology leveraged into it, there's no reason people should not be more proficient with a firearm. Just It just hands down. It is there. It takes care of almost 90% of your shooting issues when it comes to accuracy, hands down. And then you get to practice your holster draws safely, securely. Fantastic. You get to practice offline movement, which is something you'll never get to do at most ranges unless you know them personally or it's a special event. It's You'll get to practice any type of shooting drill you want, right? The only thing you can't account for, which once again, there's systems out there, is recoil management and target reacquisition, right? But you can practice target acquisition by doing holster draws and offline movement or movement drills. So that covers that. And then same thing with with target reacquisition after recoil management. That's the two things that that you'd fall short on, but adds a little bit of virtual components to that. And you get that covered too. I hope this helps. Really, I'm super adamant about dry fire training. It, I'm going to I'm going to give you that tough love and say no excuses today. Just go out, give me 50 rounds dry fire training, right? Make sure your firearms clear, safe, do it. Download our printable targets, right? So you have a target that you can just tape up to the wall and practice. Practice at it, work at it. You can do this, you can get better, and you can go out there and you know and everyone can say, "Man, you just you're excellent at this." And you're going to tell them, "Hey, I dry fire train all day long." Stay safe. Remember those gifts are down in the description, the downloadable and printable targets, plus that online course for basic pistol, right? If you need some guidance and you want to know how, what to do for that 15 minutes of training, hey, that course will have it in there for you. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.